Hello and welcome. Um, I'm not really going to do a, much of an introduction to this. Just saying hello. Thank you for joining the video. Um, I didn't look really much at, into any of this. I have no idea what I am in for. The gameplay kind of reminded me of... Um, wait, the players who wish to put in the narrative, the players who wish to enjoy the game, the combat... Okay, um, it reminds me of God of War, but with like a super in-depth story that can change. So we're going to see what that's all about. Madam, sir. The ship lies at anchor off New Eden. A tender stands at your disposal. I dreamed of clouds. Great long fluffy bastards, low over the sea. I have no I idea how much of this I can be sh actually showing. In the darkest reaches of the deepest so ocean. So far we're good. Okay, let's not take it much more than this. A good day to you, my love. And a good day to you, too. Are we in New England? <sighs> Welcome to America. Uh, something's bothering you. Charles's letter. What of it? The ghost must be uncommonly dangerous, or he would banish it himself. And we shall charge him double. <sighs> I'm serious. If the Reverend needs help, this can be no easy business. Red, you best be ready. I'll be careful, Master Duarte. Your apprentice stands ready to serve. Come on, Antea, we need to go. Night be. <laughs> Rory McWraith, gallant to the last. Life to the living, death to the dead. Consider our lovers, Antea and Red, the greatest banishers I ever knew. Life to the living, we say and death to the dead. It is not so simple. Since the dawn of humanity, the dead have lingered. Dead as alive, we are complex and emotional beings. Many and tangled are the ties that bind. Since the beginning of memory, banishers have fought to sever those ties. Death is but a trifle. It comes to us all. To haunt or be haunted. There lies the true horror. I, Charles Davenport, should know it. The haunting of New Eden scared me to death. I dearly wish I had not begged my friends to come and lift the curse. Okay, so the guy that they're trying to help is already dead. It's kind of an interesting roundabout. This is June. I'd hate to see January. I wanted to freeze my backside off in the summertime. I'd have stayed in Scotland. London wasn't much better. Look at it. It's cold as a bishop's arse. And twice as white. 
I don't mind saying it, I'm very disappointed. Charles wasn't lying. New Eden is cold as death. You may well be disappointed. You'd better be at the tavern. With a hot grog. Or two. Oh, you just jump at me right in this. Okay. Wow. A game I don't have to mess with the camera I sensitivity. I'm weary of long, boring sea voyages. I like mouse sensitivity. Lands. I can't remember the last time we did something else than work. After this, we should set sail somewhere warm and safe. The dead don't linger. No such place. But it's not a bad idea. I wonder if there's anything that's kind of hidden around, or like how much I have how grim this place exploring is. I actually do. I heard this. you the first time, but I don't disagree. Oh, I can really run. Press W and E. Okay, so. Just, okay. It just seemed weird that both needed to be used. The same thing, W and E, yeah. We're not gonna question the house. I think we can get through here. Sure. Let's go traipsing through the rotten falling down house. That's what I'm saying. Do I do I have Looks to hold steady enough? Yeah. Watch out! Oh. So we get separated. Oh. Is it just me or are we not welcome here? Uh, Keep that's going. gonna be interesting. I'll find a way to meet up with you. Over eager apprentices. Let me see if I can actually switch this over to controller. I can. I can break my way through here. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. I don't know what it is. A. X. Oh, this is going to be so much easier on a controller, actually. I can go in the water, but... I'm hearing some. Okay. Down you go. Pretty basic. Everything all right down there? Just a sneaky wanderer. You? Same, but I managed. Are these specters watching the road? Maybe. But are they keeping people outside town? Or are they keeping them in? All very good questions. The comic seems kind of smooth. I need to... I need to adjust the... Something... Uh, cursor. Nope. 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 Yep. Yep. Yeah, we'll do that. 
sure. I was hoping that I could cancel out some of the dead zone for this, because, like, I have half the stick pushed up right now. Half the stick. Is a walk. What are you? Okay, just a bag of leather. Behind you. What did you do? What abilities do I get? Can't tell how long these people are dead. The original settlers, perhaps. Whoever. Definitely in for a little fight here. Yep. Attacking vanish game. Time to leave for good. Oh. Ooh, okay. Hold on, there's more to it than that. That's a letter. We lost time. But I can't say. Sorry, I'm not gonna read all that. There's. These people left New Eden Town just a few days ago. I don't know ago. what I'm looking for, and she's gonna come in anyways. I wonder what I do with spectral dust. Oh, oh, Alpha Wander. like perfect time didn't even mean to do that though okay there's nothing so there's like tiny bosses too I guess you could call it that all goes badly for the case situation is worse than you thought let's wait to hear what Charles has to say Empty docks in a growing settlement. Not, not a good sign. Are the town selectmen sitting on their arses? Isn't that what selectmen do? When we get to town, we may oh, now you tell me how to to cover more ground. You may count on the most responsible student a banisher could have. We'll see if you remember some of your teaching. If you're up for it. Always. How much of this do we explore? I do with this knowledge nothing not the busiest stables I've ever seen no ostler and no horses this town is less and less welcoming by the second new Eden town the welcoming committee let's find the inn let's find Charles let's find somebody we haven't seen any It'll be good to see Charles and Esther again. <laughs> Would you a lecture on the sanctity of marriage? Mm. <laughs> Esther wouldn't dare. And we don't need a piece of paper to keep us together. Compass is now in the case. Okay. For an end. Oh, I just took something. I don't know what that was. Okay, the inn is up the road. I need to stop doing that. 
Well, whatever my uh, try my square does is uh, been consumed twice, and I have one left. This must be the end. Dude, this town is creepy. Okay, it sounds like there's something just creeping around. Charlie, we're here. Your prayers are answered. Poor as a drink. Finally. Banish it. Please, come in. As it is cold, your serving woman may sit while we talk. I'm the help. She's the boss. You're not Charles. My name is Antea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McWraith. Good day to you, sirs, madam. Now, where's Charles? Minister Davenport said help was on its way. I assume. Keep digging, Fairfax. Good day. Pennington, captain of the train band. This here is thick skinned Newsmith. We're the selectmen. <laughs> What's left of us? Why is Charles not here? We're sorry for your loss. We'll do what we can for his widow. The Reverend is dead. When? How? A terrible tragedy. Though our faith sustains us, we are still very much in shock. Our shock at Reverend Davenport's killing is so great that we must sit here in comfort, losing precious time. As governor of the colony of New Eden, it is my responsibility. Oh, look at us, sat here waiting to meet the same fate. We could all be miles away by now. You lot do what you want. I intend living. Or she won't die first. The esteemed select woman can be <coughs> brusque. Forgive her, and rest assured that her aptitudes far outweigh her manners, or lack thereof. Her point still stands, Fairfax. Sitting here, doing nothing, we are as lambs to the slaughter. The banishers are here. Surely, with their expertise, we may yet prevail. Then I shall leave you in your expertise in ghosts and devils to find out. My expertise in blood and battle is of little use. Mistress Duarte, if I can be of service, you may visit me at home. On the other side of the street, as it were. Well, Governor, shall you leave or shall you stay? For myself, I'll stay. <clears throat> Our company has suffered terribly. But we are worth saving. And now that you are here, save it we shall. Please, accept my sincerest condolences for the loss of your friend. We feel the loss of our minister so very keenly. Charles Davenport was a man of great knowledge and devotion. The pride, indeed, of New Eden. It discommodes me greatly to remember how we found his body in the cemetery. Indeed, it distresses me yet further to tell you that we do not know what so tragically cost him his life. Oh, I actually have to interact, okay. Mm. What do you think happened? I could guess to little use. It is evident, however, that Charles's unexpected death is linked to his investigation of the curse. In the minister's absence, I try, in all humility, to protect us all, body and soul, from our ongoing peril. You see, in my youth, I too was something of a demonologist. Rather a good one, if I say so myself. We're not demonologists. And neither was Charles. Is his widow Esther taking visitors? The widow Davenport is at home and does not much venture out. Her house overlooks the dock. 
I offered Charles a home with a view across a pretty meadow, but he refused. He preferred the village life. Speak to her, if she'll see you. But she knows no more than we do about how her husband died. Uh, why is the town so why empty? Why is town so empty? Of those who did not die, a good question. we are the few who stayed. Though our motivations may differ, all who remain have shown extraordinary faith and courage in the face of our adversity. Okay. Where did they go? Uh, where? Those who left, where did they go? I was about to say, where's Boston, your safe haven? Outlying settlements. Anywhere, everywhere. Although, as you may have heard, the weather has likely closed the roads. Some believe the path through the dark woods offers salvation. I do not. I believe we must stand our ground. I might as well get all the info, the info I can. I fervently hope so. They have homes here. But we sent the children away some time ago, and many could not live with their absence. If we do not resolve this situation quickly, the community of New Eden shall be broken. Perhaps forever. Okay. Well. You're a demonologist, you say? I am that. Like my father was before me. Faith and science are our twin compasses, you see, to a deeper understanding of the secrets of God's green and pleasant land and those who threaten it. And what have your compasses told you about the curse? They have told me... They have told me that Reverend Davenport was better placed than I to solve our problem. Which is why you're here. We agreed it. Mm -hmm. I shall stand for I the see. company, I said. As the moral authority, the anchor, and the rock. You're hiding something. As Charles and his banishers lift the curse. Uh. Heroic work all round. Indeed it is, madam. Indeed it is. But we do it all the same. Because we must. Right. Because we must. What can Let's get you tell to the, me curse. About the curse? I can tell you that it has been our misery for many long months now. And I can tell you that it worsens by the increments. First, there was pestilence and disease. Then came the nightmares. Then came madness. In the end came death. And death remains. But in all honesty, <laughs> I think the weather is the worst part. This never-ending winter hangs heavy on us all. Worse yet, it traps us here. What did Charles know? What did Charles know about it? What had he learned? Tragically, I had not yet had the opportunity to discuss this investigation. And his passing now excludes the possibility. Our late friend Charles faced a Herculean task and acquitted himself with honor. You will have to do far better than that, I'm afraid. Our contract stands. If you'll have it, yes. Our contract stands for Charles. All right. For Charles. Goodbye, then. Thank you. Huh. We have what we need. Then I wish you success. By my instruction, a room is prepared for you in the old schoolhouse. I'll be here if you need me. Damn it, Charles. Those accursed sea storms. If only we'd been here earlier. Oh, there's a lot of different stuff. But as Charles would say, another day, another soul to save.
These people, people have helpless. no idea what they're up against. Okay. He just pushed me out the way. Or just town is closed by the governor's decree. If you stay in your homes, no discard. A curfew? But why? Oh, the first resort of every self respecting oppressor. Uh huh. That one. Cemetery is closed. They just getting everything closed off cemetery, all of it. We should go to Esther. I think the governor said their house stood above the docks. Let me pick up what the little item over here is. I don't know what lilac hyacinths are for. slept for fear you would not come. I'm at a loss. Would God even allow me to drag you into these... these dark times? Esther, you're not alone now. We're here. I'm so sorry we didn't get here on time. Truly. I know. Charles kept saying it. Have faith. They will come. If only he had kept his faith himself. What happened to him? Poor Charles. Just one more victim of the curse of New Eden. You know how he is. Was. Restless. Impatient. It's not that he gave up on you, his friends. But that he could wait no more. I believe he tried to lift the curse. I too have questions. But I have no answers. Nor do I now have a husband. Okay. This is just... This has become a deep, deep story. What can you tell me about the esteemed Governor Haskell? Fairfax Haskell is well-read and educated, but at times his back can be too stiff. He shares Charles's interest in the unknown, but his passion seems less than practical. He is an academic. Still, good to know our patron has some understanding of our work. We met the captain, too, along with the huntress, Thickskin. Do you know them? I find thick skin New Smith's manner a little frightening. That's but I think name. she has a good heart. A fine hunter by all accounts. Captain Pennington comes with a reputation for soldiering. He comports himself with a wry dignity, but I suspect that beneath it all, he's just sad. Charles thought so too. There are wounds beneath Saul Pennington's armor, he said that time and God have not yet healed. Okay. Um... Now we'll just jump right in. Is there anything we should know about? Lord, deliver me, for I cannot endure this. I cannot endure it, and Charles does not deserve it. Anything at all, Esther. Please. I have felt Charles present about the house. His ghost lingers. He needs help. If he's here, I promise I will know no rest until he has his. You can count on us. We'll start with the house. Charles's papers are gathered in his office. 
Take what you need. Thank you, Esther. Mm, we'll just say goodbye. We'll take a look Let's around. not drag that That's out any right. longer. <clears throat> May I be of any help? Mm, stay put. We'll find the way. You have locked your first hint. Contains some important information. After seeing her husband go as grieving, widow Esther Davenport was deeply distressed. Oh wow, I actually have to do like full-on hunting cases. Like figure it out clue by clue. I didn't know Elnor and Charles were still in touch. The Saint Paul Brotherhood is a tie that binds. Charles was so eager to continue his research here in New Eden. We must gather hints about each involved inhabitant. Once the hints have all been uncovered, the inhabitants' intent is disclosed, and you may complete the investigation. Okay. Purcell, could you find nothing better? These days, I lack the heart to play. I'll believe you. Okay, I, there's technically oh, three, but it says I only need two. It cost a fortune. Investigate the study but in the bedroom. you cannot part a pianist from their beloved keys. Oh. Oh. Okay. There must have been a text with her still. Charles is still here and Esther is completely distraught. She lost him, and now he's back. A ghastly figure. Let's check the bedroom It must first. be unbearable. Oh, we just gonna take that. Where my chair is down for engraved with a distinctive three hilted sword. Okay. Charles always wore this brooch. His things are untouched. Nothing's moved. Remember how they used to argue about books we hadn't read? <laughs> like we weren't there. Oh, you actually listened. I'd always let my mind wander. Oh, okay, we just found a clue straight up. Charles is dead. Oh, my dear sister. Dear sister, Charles is dead. I cannot tell you right from left. I cannot tell which day it is or how long my Charles departed. My world has come undone. Let oh, okay, this is just a very sad letter. Let's not read that. Esther couldn't attend clue. Charles' burial. Poor woman. That's terrible for her. Esther never got to say farewell to Charles. I could have made it manifest. Maybe. But there has to be more to it. That's what I'm saying. How much... Is there... I have all of them for her. So now it's Charles, I need to figure out. Faith always was his beacon in the darkness. In people as much as in God. He's a good man. I can still picture him crafting your very first Bane ring. You sound much more fond of the moment now than you were back then. Bit green for an actual haunting, you said. <laughs> you were. <laughs> still. You did all right. There we go. That might be something. Maybe. We're gonna find out. Because I don't want to grab the obvious objective yet. I want his side stuff if that's possible. Alright. We're gonna just do it. I say my bed shall come for me, my couch. My couch shall ease my complaints. Now scares me when my dreams terrify me through my vision. Through visions. Fifteen, so that my soul chooses strength and death rather than my life. She comes to me in dreams. Charles's notes mention Job, chapter 7, verses 13 to 15. I'll look for that reference. Red, you dropped something. Hmm. Up oh, there goes all of my consumables. That was uh, very easy to do. 
didn't read that one either. Erratic ramblings. Charles was worried about the curse plaguing the settlers' dreams. How malicious is this curse tormenting people in their beds? Charles's ghost might give us answers. How do we We should investigate the cemetery where he was found. Oh we're we're going to cemetery. Vicious king. That's from the set he taught me with. I'd know it anywhere. Did he keep it to remind him of his favourite? Or to remind him that he had yet to beat me. Is there an item just stashed over here? No, it's outside. Are you leaving already? We need to investigate the cemetery. Uh, mm. Esther, I'm sorry to trouble you once more. Can I actually How get more info, like info out of her? Oh. Oh, I can. Has the curse brought with it nightmares? Yes. I've had nightmares. I suspect we all have. Charles warned that something was stalking our dreams. That it had a use for us. That we needed to fight it with all God's might. But now Charles is gone and my nightmares have changed. In my sleep, I see my husband falling, screaming into the abyss. All hear him, none respond. He plummets on into the bottomless pit. Poor Charles. Okay. Let's make our way to the cemetery. Please be careful, dear Antea. This seems like a good little area to leave this off because I am in. I have a feeling we're going to figure out some real big stuff and move on to a big, big part of what this game is. But I'm going to do that in the next one. So, until then, thank you guys for joining me. I don't really know what to expect for this. Um, hopefully, I can make. Uh, the video is pretty decently short no telling because it may this may actually be a pretty open explorative game but until then once again thank you for joining me like the video please I always appreciate it um, that is if you actually enjoyed your time here if not that's okay tell me down in the comments below and I will see you in the next one later